Can you imagine what a perfect presentation would be like? I do not know, but I do know that perfection does not exist. And on Monday, I gave my first presentation as part of my presentation mastery for Toastmasters. And I called it the imperfect presentation. And I got everybody in the room to think about what perfection would mean to them and how they are as speakers, what their goals are, because we are all unique. And you may be listening to this and you may be thinking about the things that you are striving to achieve. I do not know what that may be. Perhaps if you're a hypnotherapist, you're trying to find the perfect protocol. If you're a fighter, an athlete, you're trying to create the perfect combination, that perfect fight. Whatever it is, that voice inside your mind is willing you to improve, telling you that you need to do more and you need to be more. But that's not true. You are enough as you are. And it is okay to want to strive to improve. In fact, I wholeheartedly support that decision and that is how I now approach life, a wholehearted way of improving, embracing that I am enough, but I can improve. I can still strive for mastery. I can still strive for excellency, but I can be happy with who I am here today. I've suffered with perfectionism before. When I was fighting and that voice inside my mind was screaming that I was not fit enough, I would be in a state of panic. I'd go back to the corner and I'd say to my coach, I'm losing because I'm not fit enough. I'm losing because I'm not good enough. I'm not fit enough to win. So guess what? I lost those fights. And the fear of failure, failing to perform to the best of my ability, that hurt worse than the pain of being punched in the face. So can you imagine that fear, that voice inside your mind? Because it's the same for you before anything, before any performance, if you have to walk on that stage and give that presentation, if you have to work with that client for the first time and you're not sure if you know the solution, Even when you have to have that difficult conversation with your partner or your children or whatever it may be for you, you have to overcome that doubt inside your own mind. And if you can embrace the gifts of imperfection, as described by Brené Brown, courage, compassion and connection, you will achieve greater success. So I'm going to briefly explain now what the words actually mean because we all want to be courageous and we think of heroics and bravery but courage stems from the word core meaning the heart so everyday courage you can embrace vulnerability you can be uniquely you and that takes courage because we are surrounded by people who are putting on this filter to be the best version of themselves. If you can go forwards with courage and be honestly you, and if you can speak your mind from your heart, you are speaking with courage and you can act out upon those words you say. So whatever it is that you say you want to do, take action with courage today. And compassion stems from Com and party, and that means in suffering together. So, when we experience compassion for one another, compassion for ourselves, it means we have to go through that pain, the pain of emotions, and then we can feel that empathy for one another. So, I know I feel safe inside the Toastmasters community. I feel free from judgment because I know that I am an invite, I am in an environment and we are all there to support each other. We are all there to improve together and then we can celebrate our successes together too. And that is the same in the martial arts community, the same with any 
community because we are there to share common values, working towards common goals. And that creates connection. Connection is the third gift and it is the energy that exists between individuals when they feel seen, heard and valued. So if you're listening to this video, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for seeing me here today, listening to what I have to say and valuing what I do, who I am as I speak to you. Because time is valuable. Our time and our energy is finite. And if you're listening to what I have to say, I appreciate you. And my fourth and final gift, as I already briefly mentioned before, is community. It's having those people around you to share those common goals, to offer that support and be there because together we are stronger. So whatever it is that you want to work for, find that community that will support you towards your goals. And I am looking forward to doing my second presentation mastery presentation because I got feedback. I need to improve the use of my hands and I need to um, improve my ability to speak more impromptu from the heart because I do speak from my heart. But when I gave that presentation on Monday, I tried to memorize every part. And so this video here today is an effort for me to be able to recite it without overthinking it, without overcomplicating it and allowing that inner perfection inside my mind to quieten. So the best way for you to improve today is to go out there, take action and be you. This is me talking to you imperfectly. And I look forward to where your journey of mastery will take you. Just like becoming a black belt, we're at the beginning and we can take those steps. And once we achieve that level, once we get that grade, becoming that black belt, applying that dedication, discipline and determination that it takes, that you can take towards whatever it is that you would like to achieve. I believe in you. You now need to believe in yourself and together we will achieve that excellency, that mastery, but not perfection.